G'day folks and welcome to GoGo Go Power Australia. Today we're going to be road testing a 20 kVA Caboolture powered diesel generator. I'll walk you through a series of pre-checks and then we'll go into the startup sequence. Now before you do anything it's important to circle the unit to make sure there's no obstructions and there's no fuel leaks. That brings us over here to the ventilation system. Make sure there's nothing covering the ventilation system, that the air can flow through freely and there's no obstructions or any debris within, within there. The fuel cap, which is where you would uh, fill the generator with diesel, you simply unscrew and you can fill it to the correct manufacturer's level. Brings us to the cabinet. Okay, so we're going to check the oil intake is here. To check the oil, we remove the dipstick and then we'll ensure that the oil level is in between the high and low markers. We need to inspect the fan belt, looking for any cracks or signs of deterioration. And also, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it's just checking the tension there to make sure it's at a correct level. We need to go over and have a look at the fuel lines, ensuring that there's no cracks, no splits, no signs of deterioration. And then we are going to check the battery terminals, ensuring that they're securely in position. And again, no signs of deterioration, everything in good working order. The coolant level is located here, but to fill the coolant, we open up the cap. You'll notice there's a radiator cap there. We need to take the radiator cap off and then pour the coolant down into the radiator, put the radiator cap back on and then replace the top cap securely. Now before we go into the startup procedure, there's some important information to let you know about, about the generator. The main electrical component is the control module, which is the deep sea control module, with a two wire remote start. We have the ignition on off switch, we have the main circuit breakers, and the emergency stop button. In this cabinet, just above the battery, we have the battery isolator, which has on off. The ATS input is located here, right next door to the bus bar, with a little diagram on how to connect it all properly. Okay, so now for the startup procedure. Well, as you can see, we've got the wiring connected correctly. We've got the earth to ground, and we've got the cabinet securely closed and bolted tight. Okay, so it's time to turn the generator on. To turn the generator on, first thing we need to do is ensure that the circuit breaker is in the off position. Now we get the ignition key and set it to the on position, assuring that it's in manual mode, and then we press start. That'll make sure that the solenoid is energized and after the preheat, the starter motor will crank the engine. I'll direct your attention to the LCD panel, in which case we can scroll down or up to ensure that the gen set is operating at optimum levels. It should be at about 415 volts and around 50 hertz. And as you can see, that's, that's, that's more than suitable there. Once the gen set is uh, operating at optimum levels, it's safe now to throw the circuit breaker switches to your load. Now that should be running nicely and everything should be powered up. To turn the generator off, we ensure that we shut down the circuit breakers to the load. And we allow the gen set to cool down for a minute or two before we press the stop button. Once the engine shut down, we can then proceed to turn the ignition key to the off position, close the cabinet. And the last thing is, turn the battery isolator off. Okay, that pretty much wraps up our little demonstration. If you require any other technical assistance, 
please feel free to contact us here at GoGo Power Australia.